Hello and welcome to another update video about gold. Yeah, gold has found its running shoes. So we want to talk about the different scenarios, different wave counts and structures and uh, any update really. So looking at the medium term outlook, it's not, it, there's no change. So still bullish against the um, lower boundary level here of the yellow support area. So essentially, as you know, this is the yellow support area where positions can be opened. Yeah, if anybody wants to use that area, I do offer these Fibonacci levels um, in my analysis to give you levels where reversals should happen. Seems like we might be going for that. Um, finally, finally, fi for that reversal, finally, and finally, that C wave to the upside is starting. We want to take a look at the structures, though, to understand if we have... A potential um, breakout now okay so important is for our bullish structure in which we are in a third wave rally to round about 2400 plus important is that we don't break below 1889 because that would challenge this immediate bullish outlook so let's take a look at the structures we are far away from that level by the way um, let's talk a little bit about okay is it possible that this B wave is now finished because what's the structure? The structure is wave two bottomed in October last year. This here is the A wave of the third wave. The move down is the B wave of the third wave and we should get a C wave to the upside. C wave of wave three, then a four and a five. So that's essentially what we're watching, uh, what we're looking for. We are dealing here with a situation in which the bearish, short-term bearish count um, is at, on the verge of invalidation, not invalidated yet, so let's still talk about it. And we had two counts that we talked about. The idea was wave A topped here, obviously, that's wave A of the third wave, if you're wondering why our third wave is an ABC structure, it just has to do with the concept that the entire move that started in September, October 2022 is an ending diagonal. Yeah, so the subwaves are ABC structures. So, but anyway, an A wave of wave three topped here. The B wave might still be unfolding and the C wave still to come. In this scenario, we had a wave W in the white count, an X wave in the white count, and we could now be in the Y wave, which again is a W, X, Y structure. All I would need to do for this count is to shift the X wave here, but I have to say this is on the verge of invalidation, so a break above 2099 would invalidate it. The other structure would be an Elliott wave triangle, just want to share with you here the potential, um, let's say, short-term bearish counts. A wave, B wave, C wave, D wave, E wave, and then direct breakout to the upside. That would be the triangle count, which is still possible, okay, but also on the verge of invalidation, the same invalidation point. In both scenarios, we ultimately expect a bullish outcome, but we have a short-term uh, short term a little bit more downside risk in the blue one less than in the white one essentially the micro count is not so relevant as i always say it's important to trade the levels not necessarily the counts because yeah counts or structures in corrections always change so they're not very reliable what's much more reliable is the relevant levels and uh, here you can see the market has reacted several times to this fibonacci support zone why I show you that is, or I show you that because I showed you that count in the last video and explained in the last video what's the invalidation point and it's not invalidated yet. But it's worth to understand that invalidation point because if we break above it, we are likely in a breakout in the third wave. But that would look a bit strange because the corrective structures look somewhat incomplete. Now, I thought about that, you know, that, that sort of... Um, yeah, momentum to the upside today and said, okay, it looks a little bit as if the correction could be completed, but the triangle isn't complete, the WXY isn't really complete. And then if we look at the back adjusted, however, 
it looks much different because on the back adjusted chart, you see here, this low is lower than this one. So the low from February is lower than the one from December. Then it actually looks quite nice, like a WXY that could have completed and now we're moving higher. So it looks more complete. So maybe in the future we're going to use the back adjusted, but for now that should be okay. Um, just note that, yeah, the low could have been in here around the 14th of February. Well, if it is, what would be the count? So I want to share with you the move in a bullish scenario in which possibly the low of this correction was already in. What would be the count and what can we expect now? So just for understanding what the relevant support levels are. And this count that I want to share with you today to prepare you for next week will become much relevant if we break above that 2098, 2099 level, because that would invalidate the white count and the blue one as it is. So let's add here a direct bullish breakout scenario or structure just to show you, um, okay, how, how that could play out. So I think in this scenario, we had here a five wave move up one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I will take that off, but just want to show you that would be again a wave one. Then we could have seen a three wave move. You see that in a wave two. And we're now possibly in wave three. Should then get a four, five, and that would be our first five wave move to the upside, which again might be wave one of the larger C wave. So in this scenario then, this yellow third wave consists also again of five waves and it's possible two, three, four, five, that this was a one, a two, three, four, five. Basically, I, I see this as a possibility as long as the 2051 level is now holding, which is the last swing low, this is a valid count in which the market should push a little higher. If we take a look at the target for wave three here, talking about this wave three, should reach ideally sort of the area between 2105 and 2127 before then wave five should push a little higher. So if we get these five waves, that would be our first confirmation really, confirmation that we've bottomed. The invalidation of the white and blue counts will be an indication that we've bottomed, um, but we can always get a reset of wave X or something fancy. So it really takes a you know, five wave move to the upside followed by a three wave pullback to confirm that indeed we've bottomed there and the third wave is in the making. So at the moment, I still need to see wave three, four and five. And yeah, we should get there um, as long as the last swing low here is holding at around 2000, yeah, 51 US dollars. Um, anything else I missed? No, I can give you really here the, <laughs> but that's really small at the smallest degree, you know, this wave for support, not so reliable, but um, support between 2086 and 2074. That's just a quick update about gold. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you're interested in daily updates about the S&P 500, as well as regular updates about stocks, then feel free to check out our stocks and S&P 500 service. You'll find the link in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.